Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Well, if you've been outside in the morning, I assume you have, in the last couple of weeks, you've heard a lot of bird songs. Uh, spring is happening and the nesting season for especially our local resident birds is uh, getting started. So the males are singing vigorously, setting up their territories, trying to attract a mate and all. Well, <laughs> one of the most common phone calls we get this time of year, which is associated with the start of, of territory season, is birds repeatedly banging into their windows. Um, uh, the culprits primarily seem to be male and female cardinals and robins, which you can't tell, you know, male and female robins as well will do it. But also bluebirds have done it. I've had people have orioles do it. Um, there are several species. So What's going on? Why do they do that? Are they crazy? Are they trying to kill themselves? I get all kinds of questions that way. Well, what it is, is for as smart as birds are, they do not know their own voice and they don't know their own reflection. So that male or female sees that reflection of another bird in his territory that he's setting up and he can't take it. He has to drive that other rival out of his territory and he bangs repeatedly and he just he can't understand why that that bird just won't leave he just keeps hitting it and that's usually a factor of a couple of things one is um, the sun angle can play into this in which the the sun is causing a mirror reflection on certain sides of your house or certain windows on your house um, and so people stand inside and they wave and they can't get the bird to go away i've seen cats sitting inside of the windows right where the, the, the cardinal's banging into that window, right at the cat's face, that bird cannot see inside your house then because they're getting that mirror image of nothing but the forest or your yard or and or that bird. So they continually try to do it. They'll also do it to the side mirrors on your car. Um, you'll see them sitting up on your side mirror and flying down and banging into, trying to run away that bird that's in the, the mirror reflection. So what can we do? Uh-oh. Uh, one, if you're lucky, the, the sun angle changes and takes away that mirror reflection and he no longer sees himself in the mirror and he or in your window and he leaves alone and, you, and your problem solved. If that doesn't happen, if he persists, and yes, they do start at sunrise. So unfortunately, if you, if you like to sleep a little bit late in the morning, uh, it, it tends to drive you crazy. Um, so what you have to do is you have to take away that reflection. Um, you know, we have, I'm standing in front of the section where we have our stickers that go on windows and uh, that is the most common solution that we put on windows to keep from birds from running into windows to kill themselves. And that is birds that are flying across your yard and they see that reflection and they think, oh, there's a tree I can land in and bang, they hit the window, break their neck because they're hitting it at high speed. Well, these stickers work great for that, attached to your window to, to give your window depth. Unfortunately, for these birds that are trying to chase away that rival out of the territories, these stickers don't work at all. Oh, we have the rubber snakes that people try to lay in those on the windowsill outside um, so that the, the, the bird uh, is scared away. No, the, the, the drive to chase that rival out of that bird's territory is much stronger than the fear of that snake. So those tend not to work as well. So what we recommend is for, <laughs> I know it's usually not the, the the beautiful image of your window that you want, but you have to cover that window from the outside. And remember, nothing you do inside helps. So it has to be done on the outside. So you can do things like spray snow. Spray snow uh, sprayed on the outside of your window where that, that bird is hitting the window is a great help. Uh, window screens are generally a good answer, of course. And also, uh, I've had a ride right around neighborhoods this time of year and I see people with newspapers taped up on the outside of their windows and I know what their problem is. That's what they're usually facing. So you've got to take away that reflection. Hey, if you lived in the desert Southwest, you have road runners attack hubcaps on cars and try to chase away the reflection in the hubcaps. So it's not something that's just here in, in Kansas City in, in the area. Um, the timing of the year does affect that, what's going on. But in here, it usually lasts just during, especially the start of the nesting season, Occasionally we get a bird, and I'm not so sure it isn't, the bird gets brain damage from hitting the window so hard, that do it all year long. And that is unfortunate. I, that's a very tough situation to deal with, but covering your windows is still the best answer. Remember those are 
protected birds. You can't go out and shoot them and things like I hear people wanting to do that. I had one particular person who said they were uh, an artist and they did their best work it, from like midnight to four in the morning. And so right when they were getting to bed is when this bird starts hitting the window and just absolutely drove her crazy. So, um, you know, we did everything we could to help her uh, and get that, that covered up. So they are protected, so you can't, can't harm them, but you just have to take uh, measures to, to take that reflection away from that bird. Um, if you like the programs, please like them, share them with your friends, send in ideas for ones. If you have questions, about this type of an issue or all, you can always come by the store or call us, shoot us an email. Um, until then, we'll see you next week. Let's talk birds. Two, one. Would you like to learn more about wild birds? You might want to hit that subscribe button.